So I'm gonna quickly go over how you can Photoshop a picture on the iPhone 13 with the Adobe Express app. Now this app may not have all the features of the full desktop Adobe Photoshop, but it's still pretty impressive. Plus it's free to use. Okay, so to get it, simply head over to the App Store, type in Photo Editor or Photoshop, and it should be the third or fourth option. Now, you can see it's got a ton of positive reviews. It's very user-friendly, and it's also packed with a ton of really cool editing features. Anyways, I'm going to add a giant robot picture I have. I think I was using it as my wallpaper at one point, but let's open it up. You want to click Edit in the top left-hand corner. I'm just going to find the picture. Now, the layout for the app is uh, pretty self-explanatory, but you do want to click on Edit. Okay, uh, here's the picture I'm going to use, guys. All right, so I do want to point out the filters on here. There's over 100 plus different, you know, picture filters, which is also crazy. Now, I'm actually going to go with a gray filter. I'm just kind of in the mood for a gray theme, so that's what we're going to do. But let's just check out some of the different options on here. Literally over 100, though. So you can open it up a little bigger, start to scroll over a little bit. So we're talking much better than Instagram when it comes to filters, that is for sure. All right, I'm going to go with that one. Okay, so you also have the option to crop images quickly, which is a useful tool. You can add text to your pictures. You can move it over here and then edit it if you wanted to. Another thing you could do on here is add borders to your pictures as well. The borders is pretty cool. I think it just gives a nice little uh, overall look to your picture. There's also some effect options on here, but if you even touch those, it's all paid options. I really don't think it's it's necessary, honestly. This is more for editing pictures really quick, making them look nice, and then saving them. And that's basically it. Anyways, guys, I do recommend checking out the Adobe Express app. It's really useful. Like I said, it's not going to have all the features of the full desktop Adobe Photoshop, but it's still pretty darn good. Of course, if you guys wanted to check it out or learn more about it, I will have some links in the description. Thanks for watching this, guys. We'll see you all in the next video.